Hi, welcome back to yet another episode of Mark B Optimize. There was this time that I was out with my friends, then it happened that we were running low on cash. Then one of my friends tells me that uh, there's a certain mobile app that is able to extend you loan almost instantly. And trust you me, within five minutes or less, the money had been deposited in my M-Pesa. This money was supposed to be returned after two weeks. It was not a big deal because uh, the interest was a little bit high, but it never really bothered me because I didn't have this money in the first place. So I take the money, we spend it. Uh, a week later before the deadline, I'm able to repay. And I realize, okay, this is fun. I can still borrow some more. Before the, the deadline, I, I still repaid. And uh, by the time I'm borrowing the fifth time, the, the, the initial amount has gone up. And now I'm unable to repay it in those two weeks. So what do I do? I go to another app, borrow, then I repay because now I bought myself another two weeks. So I repay this other one. And now I have two loans. By the time the two loans come to term, I realize I don't have enough money to offset the two loans. So I, I borrow from the third mobile loan app. And now I have three loans. And at this point, I'm not sure which one ends at what point. Uh, to cut the long story short, by the end of all this, I had around six different mobile loan apps that I was operating. So it, it now became a vicious cycle. And you know what happens when you don't pay. In fact, some days before the deadline of these loans, I would receive calls from these arrogant uh, agents calling me names, threatening me, threatening to call my family. And it was really chaotic. Then one day, uh, you know, when you're servicing six loans and you don't know which uh, deadline is where, I, I, I would write them down trying to, to keep up with the, with the deadlines. But it happened that the deadlines were almost back to back. Remember, when, when you pay the loan, you can borrow almost immediately and they'll give it to you. So I, in my wisdom, I decided, let me go to the local shopkeeper and ask her for money, which she did give me. And by the way, she gave me money that was meant to buy stock for her business. But because I was sure that once I repay, I'll be given back the money. So it was no biggie. She gave me the money, which was a couple of thousands. And I applied for the loan. Let me tell you, of the two mobile apps, none was responding to my application. And I'm there outside the shop uh, with all the promises that I'm going to repay the, the money that the shopkeeper gave me, which was supposed to be used to restock the shop. But the confidence I had with these mobile apps, I knew I just take from her the way I've been doing it from this other app and repaying and the cycle, you know, this kind of merry-go-round. We're just dancing around this app. At the end of the day, they never gave me the loan. Now I have to look for the money so that I can repay the shopkeeper so that she can buy stock for the shop. Eventually, I was able to raise the money. So I decided, you know what? I'm not going to pay any of you, the six of them. Not that I refused, but I didn't have the money. I borrowed left, right, and center. I just didn't have the money to repay. That was mistake number one. When filling up the form, you give them the permission to access your contact list. So they started calling everyone, everyone, your pastor, your grandmother, your father, your sister, your friends. And they were harassed, they were abused, they were threatened. That was a bad experience. So what did I learn from all this? I'm just reminded of the Joyce brothers who once said that credit buying is much like being a drunk. The buzz happens immediately and gives you a lift. But the hangover comes the following day. The hangover for me was several months. The pain, the embarrassment. These mobile apps are just a no-no. So I want you to remember this the next time you're borrowing a loan. The only person that sticks with you during adversity is your friend. And the other person that will always be there 
is your creditor. Kindly, if you don't need this loan, do not borrow. I salute you for watching my videos. Follow me for more and see you in the next episode.